What is going on, beautiful people? Today, we are talking about how some narcissists, well, a lot of narcissists, never grow up. Like the P Peter Pan type narcissistic people. If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and welcome to episode 988 of the Narcissist Code. So, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, folks. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, you get a lot of people that are dealing with narcissistic people out there that say this phrase. They'll say the phrase, uh, I'm, I feel like I'm dealing with a toddler. I feel like I'm gro dealing with a toddler in, a, in an adult body. I feel like the narcissistic person that I'm dealing with never grows up. I feel like I'm dealing with an adolescent, a mean teenager or something like that. Yeah, yo. It's true because arrested development does happen in a lot of narcissistic people. You know, and if you don't know what arrested development is, it means you get stuck at a certain emotional age, like not physical age, not mental age, because you like narcissists can grow up and, you know, be educated people, be smart people, be rocket scientists and super successful, super, super smart, you know, but emotionally, they, you know, like I said, in physical age, they can be like 45, 50. 60, 70, 70 years old, right? But then you'll have, like I said, they'll have the emotional age of like an eight, nine, 10 year old. They'll be an emotional teenager. You know, they'll be a physical grandpa or grandma <laughs> or grandparent and have the emotional age of an eight year old. That happens all the time, y'all, because a lot of narcissists, they, they experience some type of trauma in their youth or in their childhood that makes them stop growing emotionally. It doesn't make them stop growing physically. They can still, like I said, they can still be educated, be super smart people, but they have the emotional age of a young person. Like they will always feel like they're, they, you have to talk down to them emotionally. You can tell you can, you can have an educated conversation with this person sometimes, <laughs> but you have to talk down to them when you're trying to explain your emotions or how you feel or how they made you feel. You know, of what's going on in this current situation or how we're dealing with things right now. You have to talk down to them and whatnot. This is part of the dynamic. Or this is part of the space. This is part of how it goes right here. You know, this is the mentality. This is the mindset that a lot of narcissists and toxic people experience right here. This is how this is just how it happens. I promise you. This is just how it happens. So if you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person, like, well, Lee, how do I get them to grow up? Yeah, you cannot look, they have to go to therapy. To work on themselves to have those emotional birthdays although they might they probably would never catch up to their physical age they can grow up emotionally if they go through some intense psychotherapy they're committed to it or you'll just be dealing with this and you can tell you and y'all know exactly what i'm talking about when you're dealing with a narcissist like rage and silent treatment are childish responses they don't seem like childish responses because they're coming from an adult you know but they're childish responses narcissistic rage is pretty much the adult version of a temper tantrum you know when you get a seven or eight year old that doesn't get their way huh, 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 they get mad they get super angry they might start throwing stuff and just you know that's what the narcissistic rage is except you you're older you're stronger you can you can damage more things you can damage the person that is making you angry or whatever the person that you're blaming for how you're feeling is really the adult narcissistic rage is the, literally the adult adult you know adult version of a temper tantrum they'll get mad as are swinging their arms like, i'm going crazy ah. you know as an adult as a kid they do it you look you just brush it off as a kid but as an adult you can't brush it off because that person can harm you they're swinging their arms and punching stuff and trying to hit you and chasing you you know the silent treatment is a childish response think about it. it's an emotionally childish response instead of trying to instead of trying to work out the actual issues or deal with things that are actually going on or processing things that are actually going on they shut down and just refuse to speak to you they ignore the issue that's childish just basically like basically like a little seven eight year old going in a going in a corner putting their hands in their ears and ignoring you you know maybe maybe a little bit younger five six years old do this you know it, they, they're just ignoring you I like they don't hear you ah, la, 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 ah, la, 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 la. you know quincy's no star trees remember uh from a uh, dumb and dumber quincy's no star trees you can't double stamp, double stamp. No, you can't double stamp, double. You can't triple stamp, double stamp. You can't triple stamp, double stamp. Number, <laughs> number, y'all. Uh, 1994. Y'all, that movie came out in 1994. What? 30, 30. Whoa, 30 years. That number came out 30 years ago. What the? Ah, uh, what the hell? 
That is wild to me. But yeah, you can't get them to grow up, y'all. If you are trying to plan on staying in a relationship with a narcissist or trying to have to communicate with one, you have to dumb down your emotional language. I know that sounds silly, but you're like, you have to. Act like you're talking to a, a you know, see, see this narcissistic person, right? Look at them, but imagine them as an eight-year-old. They're still 35, but imagine them as an eight-year-old. Look, you're hurt, like, you screaming, screaming hurts, Johnny. You know, yes, Papa, Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa, eating sugar. You see what I'm saying? That's the process. <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the process that a lot of narcissistic people go through right there. You know, it really, really is. So that's why I just try to tell people: if you're dealing with a narcissist, toxic person, or whoever, you have to dumb down the way you speak to them because they'll never grow up. They still have childish hobbies. A lot of times, like, and this is true for a lot of narcissists as well. Their inner child is trying to live through their adult body. They're a neglected, a narcissist neglected inner child is trying to live through their adult body. So that's why you see sometimes they're doing things that kids do. You see what I'm saying? That's why you get some, this is me being realistic as well. You get some narcissists right, some older narcissistic people. They go for younger people because they have, they're the same emotional age. They feel like this person is closer to the emotional age that I am. You get a 45 year old narcissist going for an 18 year old. Oh, we, I know we have 27 years difference in age, but we think the same. Why? Because they're emotionally stunted. You see what I'm saying? This is how they feel that this person is emotionally on the same level as me. We think the same, we feel the same emotionally. We don't have anything else in common. I got a mortgage, a 401k. They just, look, they just they're applying for college. You see what I'm saying? That's the space that a lot of narcissistic people fall into right there. That's why I'm just saying like, they have to, they're, if you think about it y'all from a different perspective, a narcissist, inner, a narcissist neglected inner child is really living through their adult body. That's what happens with me in my space. You know, when you see narcissists respond in a childish way, that's their inner child. They maybe never got to do the things that they wanted to do, but now they can, right? Now there's some control. So now the inner, like back in the day, the inner child used to get stifled and whatnot, all right? The, the inner child used to get stifled out, used to get, you know, couldn't ex couldn't express themselves in a healthy way, right? But now, I mean, not in a healthy way, just, they couldn't express themselves in any way, but now they can. Now they have the ability to express themselves and be free and be open and whatnot. So now they have that ability to do that. That happens quite a bit in these spaces. So where, where, where they used to could not do anything, now they can. It's like, oh, I, I, I used to couldn't do this, but now I can. Now. I'm being able to do this right here. Now I'm being able to move forward. Now I'm being able to live my life the way I want to live my life. Yeah, because I couldn't do this as a child, but guess what? I'm free now. I can absolutely do this as an adult. I'm super free right now. So this happens quite a bit to people, y'all. So if you're dealing with a narcissistic person, toxic person, this happens quite a bit, you know? And then like I said, they have to reparent themselves. They have to go to, they, they have to go to therapy. They can't do it on their own. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pray on it and let God guide me. Y'all, unless God guides them to therapy, this is who you're going to be dealing with. And again, I'm not telling y'all to leave your relationship. I'm just providing the information necessary for you to like make a, a conscious decision. Like ask yourself right here, if nothing, and this is how you can tell if you can survive in a, in a, in a relationship right here. This is one of the, this is one of the keys to tell if you can survive, right? If nothing were to change in your relationship right now, nothing, absolutely nothing. The behaviors didn't change. The way they talk to you didn't change. The way they treat you didn't change. If nothing changes in this relationship, five years from now, would you still be happy? Or would you feel like you be, you, if you feel like you're already losing yourself through the behaviors and the way you're being treated right now, you're not going to be in a better place five years from now. How would you? You see, I know you can work on yourself and be, maybe be in a better place financially and mentally because you're going to therapy, but you're still be coming home to this. You still be dealing with this. Again, I'm not telling y'all to leave. I'm just telling you, ask yourself these questions right here. If nothing changes, would I still be happy with my life right now? If nothing were to change, ask yourself that question right there. This is, this is a serious question you gotta ask yourself, you know? Think about it. Ask yourself this question right here because that's the mindset. That's the dynamic. That's the space that a lot of people fall into. So if nothing were to change right now, would you be happy? If they didn't, if they never actually grew up, which they probably won't, if they never grew up, would you be okay with who they are? 
Would you be okay with who they are right now? Would you be okay with living your life the way that you live your life right now? Would everything be fine? That's what I have to ask people. Would everything be fine if you had to live your life the way you're living your life right now? Because that narcissistic person will probably never grow up, especially if they're not putting any type of work to grow up. Especially if this is who they, if they have grown into a, if they fall into some type of comfort zone, then yeah, this is who you'd be dealing with for the rest of your days. If you look, if you're okay with it, y'all, look, look, this is your life. You know? Love wins <laughs> and whatnot. But y'all, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter. My video series about understanding narcissistic abuse from the perspective of a narcissist is coming out pretty soon. I was like, everything's already uploaded. I'm going to send out that email next week with everything. Um, it's a very in-depth series. The seven stages of narcissistic abuse from the perspective of a narcissist. Oof. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. I'm out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. You are a mental healness rock star and I appreciate you for being here. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the screen to subscribe to the channel and watch another one of my videos in my playlist. There's also a link available up here for you to purchase my kids book. Remember, it's not your fault on Amazon. So check that out. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.